Check it. All right, now that we're in the mood, good evening, everyone, and welcome to Countdown to kick off our 30-minute high school football preview show for 2014. Over the course of the next 30 minutes, we're breaking down your favorite prep ball clubs as they get ready for the start of week one on Friday. A lot of expectations, many goals, but all in all, we're rolling through Central Illinois teams top to bottom to see what they have in store for their respective nations. So before the refs kind of throw a delay flag, so let's call a play. That's right. How about we preview 10 of the toughest teams in the state? Let's preview the Central State 8 Conference, starting with a couple of defending champions. First on tap, the 5A title holder from 2013, Sacred Heart Griffin, the defending 5A champs. They want an encore. The Cyclones know teams want a shot at knocking them off. The target on their backs, even bigger with the label as title holder. Despite a few losses on the depth chart, the Cyclones reload with plenty of talent this season. Well, I think we'd be disappointed if we don't go deep into the playoffs. And, and, and for us to go to state championship, I think, and uh, to defend what we've uh, started. And we want to prove to everyone that we really are the top dogs in 5A and that we are here to stay and everybody should watch out for us because... Really repeating is just going to be like a big factor and way to end a se uh, senior season. We're always the target. We're that, we're, that, we're that school that always wins, so everyone wants to knock us off. But I think it's, it's, it's magnifying this time especially because we're the state champions. But uh, I'm just going to take that and run with it and just try to get even better, exceed what we did last year. SHG opens the season at Springfield High this Friday. We turn our attention to the, another state champ from the viewing area, the Rochester Rockets. Four years in a row, Rochester has been the king of the hill in Class 4A. This season, the goal remains simple, bring home 5-5. Five and five. No team in state has had a run at state like the Rockets. The drive for five starts with this year's roster, and they don't want to let down the current dynasty. You know, to not win a state championship is it's a letdown now, and, and that's hard to say. Um, but, you know, it, uh, for those guys, they like these kids, they've never lost a playoff game, and so... Um, you know, that's tough for them. They don't, they don't want to be the, the group that does lose. Oh, yeah, we've been pretty lucky, and we've all, I mean, we haven't seen any failure. We've been all blessed and had some good seasons. You know, we, we like the challenge, and we got a pretty big target on the back. The Rockets open the season at home Friday night when they host Eisenhower. David? Thanks so much, Donnie. Up next, we stop and chat on the Titans of Glenwood are keeping the winning formula very simple. The faces and numbers have changed over the years, but the Titans' style of play will look familiar. The, tires goal, the Titans' goal this season, get better day by day. The team says the best part of suiting up for Glenwood is playing with the guys you've known for many years. You know, we're not going to change. I'm too old to change. Uh, you know, we're going to do a lot of things that, that we've done in the past. I think that you got to have a good defense out there. I think you got to have a good running game. I think everything else works around that. And, uh, you know, so that's, I don't think that's any secret to anybody. And uh, that's what we're going to, that's what we're going to try to hang our hat on. We're all friends, brothers, ha have a heck of a lot of time together. Mm -hmm. And when it comes time to it, we get serious and we do what we have to do. But at practice, we're having fun playing football. The Titans will be the first team to test CS8 newcomer MacArthur this Friday. We head to Morgan County to the city of Jacksonville where the Crimsons are looking to duplicate last year's success. After going 7-4 in 2013, the Crimsons feel this is the year they can win it all. Jacksonville, Jacksonville feels they're the sleeper team of CS8. The Crimsons say there is a lot of work to be done on and off the field if they want to achieve their goal, but they welcome the challenge. You're not wanting to be the ones that are playing the last game of the year. You know, you're probably in it for the wrong reason. Our goal, until it's not a reality, is to, to, to go undefeated and win the state title. We got to be balanced on both sides of the ball, which I think we really are this year. And uh, we just got to work hard in the weight room every day and get our heads out of our butts and practice sometimes. Jacksonville will begin 2014 play at home against Lanphier. Donnie? We head back to the Capitol now where Springfield High is out preparing for a grueling start to the 2014 season. This young team will face SHG in week one and Rochester in week two. The Senators want to take these tough teams head on. They will rely heavily on their sophomores and juniors to lead the charge. Springfield believes this year the team has better chemistry than years past.
They know they, it's going to be baptism by fire, man. It's, you know, they don't get a chance to breathe. We go in week one, we play state champ SHG, and then turn around week two, play state champ Rochester. So they're, they're going to have to grow up fast. We have a lot more of a, like a team gel this year, like more of a chemistry than we, I think we did last year. A lot less clicky, a lot less like all the seniors talk with the freshmen. We help them out, something that we didn't really have with last year's group of kids. And I think, think we're going to have one of the better teams that we've had in the past. The Senators get SHG this Friday. We head to Southeast High School where the Spartans are welcoming new head coach Matt Lauber. He's bringing a fresh perspective to the team, changing both the offense and defense. A spread offense and a 3-4 defense are in the mix. The players say Coach Lauber has brought new excitement to the team. He's more of a hands-on guy, you know, he's really intense. Uh, he wants perfection, everything, whether it's just walking, you know, one of those guys that don't like to lose. and. Neither do I. There's a lot of things going with being a first-time head coach, but and I'm really enjoying it. And these guys are making it pretty easy with me with buying in and doing things the right way. Sparty is on the road for week one at Lincoln. Our last stop in, in Springfield is with the Lanphier Lions. After coming off a 1-8 season in 2013, the Lions are more focused, particularly on themselves. The Lions are looking to have a winning record in 2014. That's something that hasn't been done since the 2004 season. With only 12 seniors on the roster, Lanphier is one of the youngest teams in Springfield, and that translates more playing time and more chances for players to mature on the field. Our goals for the upcoming season are to compete against ourselves and make ourselves better and make sure that we're pushing tempo in practice and we're practicing like a championship team. So we really got to kind of compete against ourselves. We haven't had a good record for three, four years now, so we just want to be able to, as you know, me and all the other seniors, we want to be able, well, we're looking to go to playoffs, but we just want to have a, a winning season. The Lions are on the road in week one when they visit Jacksonville. The Lincoln Railers are coming off a winless season in 2013, but despite the lack of victories, the Railers are hard push, uh, pushing hard for positive results. The Railers know they're underdogs going to most games, but don't count them out on Friday nights. Lincoln says it's ready to scrap with anyone for 48 minutes. Another thing that helps, the relationships built together on and off the field. We've got to have a mindset that, that we're going to go out and compete against whoever's lined up across the field from us. And, uh, you know, we can't, uh, we can't be intimidated or fearful of anyone, and, and we can't take anybody for granted. We know that every week we have got to be at our very best. We're a family. We, uh, love, every, we love everybody on the team. Everybody, uh, families fight all the time. No matter what, we're, we're just, you know, at the end of the day, everybody's got everybody's back, and we're a family. Lincoln hosts Southeast on Friday at 7 p.m. All right, let's head on down the road, shall we? Our Come next, over. yeah, our yeah. next stop is Decatur, and the MacArthur Generals are one of two new faces to the Central State Eight this season. The Generals have their sights set high, and they want to win the conference title. MacArthur still has last year's first-round playoff in the rearview mirror. They say it's made them even hungrier for this season. The feeling last year. I'll never forget it, so yes, I want to go deeper into the playoffs this year. I don't want to, I want to win state. That's what I want to do. No, they talk about it because I think, you know, if, if no one ever expresses that, you know, it never, it can never come about. Our guys talk about it, but then my question I ask them is, what are we doing to prepare for that? You know, are we just talking about it or are we being about it, so to say? MacArthur is home for week one when the Generals entertain Glenwood. Let's head across town to Eisenhower High School. The Panthers are the other team making the jump from the Big 12 to the Central State 8. A tall order lies ahead for this ball club to achieve success. But these Panthers say they're hungry for wins. Second-year head coach Drew Wagers is picking up the pace. Wagers hopes attitude and effort helps make the schedule change a smooth transition. You know, this new conference is kind of like we're looking at it as kind of like a rebirth for us. Uh, you know, we get a chance to kind of re-identify ourselves, um, you know, set the tone for what kind of football Eisenhower is going to play. Yeah, it's real exciting. I, uh, I watch a lot of film and I see SHG in Rochester and I'm excited to play those type of guys just to be in the atmosphere and to be able to play top-notch schools and state championship schools. And it's exciting coming into a new conference and hopefully we can make some things happen this year. The Panthers open the season at Rochester and then are home with SHG. And boy, the CSH should be really stacked looking from top to bottom. I'm looking forward to hitting the sidelines and seeing these ball clubs collide. I'll tell you what, if it was a game of darts, it would be cutthroat. Yeah. We've got to take a break, but when we come back, let's check in with the Sangamo Conference. You're watching our countdown to kickoff 
High School Football Special right here on Fox Illinois.